Hi, and welcome back to Artistry Collaborative, the place where we just ask you to try. Okay, so today, this is the beauty that we're going to work on. And all it is, is simple paper towels that I've used to clean up with, and then I sprayed some more. We're going to use some homemade and some actual spray inks, some acrylic paint, and some painter's tape. Very easy. So come on and try. Okay, so today we are going to play. Um, what I do is I, when I use paper towels, I save them. And when I'm ready, I pick them. Now I made these with uh, food dye, a little bit of alcohol and water. Now when you spray them, you get a little bit of color. It's not as strong and as powerful as these I just love. I just got these Distress um, Spray Stains by uh, Jim Holtz, Tim Holtz, I should say. And this is a Mermaid Lagoon. Look at that, just beautiful. And so I finish uh, adding color to them and then I let them dry. And what you end up with is all these beautiful papers. I did a doily. We have tissue paper here. Wait till you see this tissue paper. Look at that beauty. Is that gorgeous or what? So today we're going to use the paper towels. I might use some tissue paper too, but we're going, I don't know what we're going to do, but we are going to um, create with all this beautiful color. And again, when you use the paper towels, uh, now you, again, now if you make your own sprays, you know, you could just really saturate it in the color, but I will say once it dries, it um, lightens up. It's not as vivid as the Distress, the Heidi Swap or the Tim Holtz uh, sprays, but you know, pretty cool, none the same. You could also maybe even take a marker. These are watercolor markers, so they'll definitely work. But, you know, you could put some marker on there and then put some uh, water and just fill it up with color. And anytime you have extra paint from a project, I kind of just throw it on a page and... Uh, wait to see what I'm going to do with it. Um, I'm going to just cover this one up. I've decided to use paper towel because I want you to see the texture that comes to life uh, with this. But um, anyway, because there's just really pretty patterns in there. And um, so take out your tacky glue or your Mod Podge or your gel medium and you're going to paste it all into your book any way you like and this is this is just it's so much fun i enjoy this so much it's so playful i can't even explain how playful it is um it just makes me feel like a kid again um i love it i love it i love it i love it oh this one even has some sparkle in it love the bling how can you not love the bling and um you can use these inks uh on coffee filters tissue paper napkins um you know we will i will be showing you maybe i'll do that next video next i haven't done a napkin video yet um, this one actually has a couple of plies. You could pull the plies apart if you wanted. Um, you get twice as much. You could do that. Um, but uh, I'll have to do a napkin tutorial to show you how pretty that all comes out. This one's not quite dry, but let's, let's see if we can do it anyway. Um, and so I hope you are doing well. I'm really 
grateful that you're tuning in and trying along. I hope you're crafting along with me, but I know I don't usually craft when I watch videos. I usually get the idea and then go to the table and see what I can come up with all on my own. But um, I hope it inspires you to craft. And uh, yeah. Uh, and I, I think it's just going to help with your sanity during this madness. Now, this is all tissue paper and this is all wet. This one, this one's dry. Oh, look at that brightness. Oh, look at that. Look at the color in there. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. So, yeah. Um, and the thing I think I love about art journaling is there is no wrong. There is no wrong. And if you don't like it, <laughs> just gesso over it and do something else. That's the beauty of art journaling and mixed media. It's, it's so forgiving. There is, well, art should be forgiving anyways. I don't think there is bad art. I think you learn from everything. And um, I think that uh, we should just go easy on ourselves and just play. Oh, we do not play. And, and think about it. When you were a child, um, play was how you spent your day and how you learned all kinds of basic skills. I've been thinking about mud pies a lot. Um, really strange, but I have. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I used to love to play in the dirt and make mud pies. Make mud pies. And I'm not sure what we did with them once we made them, but we did make them. And, uh, and it was fun. And I think that's what art should be, is fun. I don't think we should stress over it. I don't think we should judge it. I think we should either like it or not like it. Enjoy it, though. Enjoy it, enjoy it, enjoy it. Because I think we discover a lot about ourselves in the process. I think we shut out a lot of the noise that's going on around us. I hope it does. And we can just focus and relax and what a beautiful thing that is what a beautiful thing it is and and i'm not trying to diminish the terrible things that are happening in the world right now and the sacrifices people are making but i'm just really grateful for the time and i'm really grateful for the opportunity to kind of reset our priorities so i hope that you know, you're, you're able to do that too. Um, and I, I, I pray every night for everyone, especially those people on the front lines. So difficult um, on themselves, on their families, on everything. But I just, this is my way of just encouraging a little bit of beauty in the world. So all right, I'm going to finish this page and we're going to let this dry and I'm going to come back. Okay, welcome back. So this is the paper towels. And as you can see, there is some like wonderful textures in there. And I, I just love it. So what I was going to originally do, I changed my mind. And I saw this uh, on a YouTube video. I didn't catch her name, so I'm not, I, I'm sorry, I don't remember. But um, she did a painting and um, and did this method over the painting. So I thought I would do this over the pages. Um, I think it's gonna work. We will see. Life is an experiment. Um, what this is is painter's tape and it's great because it uh, doesn't pull up your paint. Okay, that's the person upstairs. There you go, that's their alarm. Actually, I'm going to put this a little bit slighted. Because not all trees are straight. And then, let's see. Um, what about there? I think. And then we'll do this little skinny one. 
So I only had two inch painters tape. Daily shush. And so um, what I did is I pre-cut this uh, before putting the camera on so that I could have different sizes. But this is going to be so awesome and it is so, so easy. Um, I love birch trees and um, one of my goals is to paint the hallway with these beautiful birch trees and then gold leaf some leaves but I haven't gotten around to that now these are just this just says primary cyan and this says blue cobalt blue hue um, but any blue will do and so you get your paintbrush and you're going to just paint over all of this okay now one of the things that um, is uh, a known thing uh, rule is you only you always want to do things oddly so whenever you have something on a page you want odd numbers the eye does not like symmetry it likes asymmetry so what you want to do you can always take a piece of wax paper if you're afraid of getting something on the other pages which of course I did but um, and so you want to do one, three, five. It just looks more appealing than a balanced amount. So that's why I went with the five trees. Of course, we could put in a ton more, but this is what we're doing today. Now, cover, this is just a regular acrylic paint. You can use craft paints from Michaels, Craft Barrel, Folk Art, whatever you have. And you're just going to cover it, and you want to cover it really well. Um, and the wonderful thing about it is the texture still comes through and will give it that added dimension. And I always over squeeze, and then I'll have extra, and I don't like to waste. So usually what I do is just put it on an empty page to use as a background filler. But, <clears throat> and in my haste, of course it's been days since I started this project. I've been doing other projects and uh, in my haste, I didn't cover the center as good as I should have and it ripped. But that's okay because paint covers everything and the rip will just add to the texture. That's the wonderful thing about mixed media, is that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And that's why I think it's so important for people to do work on it, because I think people are so afraid of stretching themselves and doing it wrong. And I belong to these online groups, and people are just so afraid to use their product, or they're going to do it wrong. And I always say, you know, it's not brain surgery. We're not killing anybody. We're, you know... And the wonderful thing is they have products to just cover it up, put more gesso on top, start all over again. So there's no loss. There's no loss. And we've got to get over comparing ourselves and, and expecting a certain outcome. I have to say most of the time when I do these things, I don't know. And, and every artist that I've seen says, I have no idea where we're going with this, but we're going to just go. And I think that's what it is. It, it takes some courage. Um to just dive in dive in and see what happens you may be well you will be pleasantly surprised i guarantee it guarantee it so just cover this really really well and um we're gonna let it dry and i'll be back for the reveal if this looks a little different it's because when i went to edit the film I noticed a portion of the tutorial missing. So I had to reenact the page, but I wanted to show you what happens when you 
are done, you just take your tape off and reveal the colors. Now this one, um, the last one was a different blue. This blue I used was called Primary Cyan. Um, I made it a little different. I'm pretty sure that's a different color, although it looks very similar. Okay, so you just simply take off the colors and then you take some black and, um, and I'll put it on here. And what I use is a debit card and you simply do this and then you go along the edges and you drag it in. just to define the trees. Very simple. And just go along the way. You can do as much or as you... So just continue to outline your trees. Again, you want it you do not want it uniform. Nothing in nature is uniform. And you can scrape a little or you can scrape a lot. If you see some bleed through of the blue paint, just make sure you cover that up so that it defines where the tree is. And again, trees are not, they're knobby and they're imperfect in their perfection. So I want you to just go along and do all of that. Good? So, so this is the final project and um, I added some white to look like clouds in the background and then I just wanted to put a title and I found this and it says we will either find a way or make one and I think right now we kind of feel like we're lost we don't know which way we're going and um, we need a way out and uh, history will show us that we do figure it out we will be okay so I'm going to get this down and um, we're going to use some glue actually we'll use some Mod Podge and uh, paste this down and I hope that you really enjoyed this tutorial. Please like and subscribe to my channel. It really will help me to get some momentum going so I can create more videos for you. And I hope it encourages you to just do it. Just try, get out there and it doesn't matter what it looks like. It really doesn't. It's, it's the process that's the most important. And um, I, I, I just, I love this. And I, and I know if you give it a chance, you're going to love it. And it's so good for the soul. It really, really is. So thank you so much for joining me and hanging in here with me. And um, please, you can go and see our website at artistrycollaborative.org. I also have a podcast called Inner Promptings. It is on Anchor, but it's on almost most platforms like Google or um, Spotify. So many. Um, it's like, again, just go to Inner Promptings and uh, it is to encourage you to be creative. And I interview some local. I haven't in the last few months because we're in lockdown, but um, I interview some local artists to see what their process is and how they're doing and uh, yeah it's it's great little uh, and it's not long it doesn't take much time at all you know so all right um this is it I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you are staying well and don't forget keep on creating <laughs>